I know they have a great team. Uh, they have a good group of guys, young group of guys there that um, can do the job, that can do uh, and, and can make the playoff. And uh, we see it. We saw that last year. So, I mean, uh, I'm just happy to enjoy that, that team that can do that. I'm Eric Heiss with the MLB.com FastCast. The Tampa Bay Rays added Jose Molina with a one-year contract on Monday. The deal also includes a club option for 2013. The 12-year veteran hit a career-best 281 with three home runs and 15 RBI in 55 games for the Toronto Blue Jays this past season. Whatever uh, the team needs me to do, I will be ready for it. Uh, I mean, I can tell you that I'll be going to catch 120 because I never catch that many games. But right. one thing for sure is that I will be ready. I will be prepared for that challenge. And the Houston Astros dismissed a couple of their front office executives on Monday, releasing their president of baseball operations, Tal Smith, and their general manager, Ed Wade. The Astros lost a franchise worst 106 games in 2011. MLB.com analyst Joe Sheehan believes Ed Wade should be commended for leaving the club stocked with young prospects. Give him credit for what he did in his last four or five months on the job. You look at their top prospect list, just recently released by Baseball Prospectus. Three of the top four prospects, uh, Jared Kosart, uh, Chris uh, uh, Singleton, mm -hmm. and uh, Brett Oberholzer were products of the trades that, that were made this last summer. So he did go out and he did help to rebuild that farm system by trading away you know, the guys at the major league level, which yep. wasn't easy for him. That's not really the kind of GM that he had. For more on these stories and for complete free agent coverage, stay locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.